My name is Taylor Bernard and I'm the director of Croker. It's been really exciting, especially for the students involved, because they've been able to name their characters, we've been able to throw a few lines in there and make some adjustments, because we have the ability to run right next door and talk to the lyricist and talk to the composer and make those changes. And it was exciting for me because I got to work with Deb and Jason as they were finalizing the script, so I got to have a really clear picture of what they wanted from the show and add some of my ideas in, so it really created an excellent collaboration. My name is Danny Chowan and I play Princess Acrimonia. He's pretty much a spoiled, rotten brat. And then she meets Croker and she kind of realizes how mean she's been and she turns it around. My name is Matthew Barger and I play Croker. The music is wonderful. It's got lots of great harmonies and there's many duets. There's, the different, there's lots of different styles of music. We have folk and tango and ballad, and it's just great. It goes like this, your elbows kiss, and then come your knees. You turn around and find a hand and give it a squeeze. Step and gently with the hip and jump to the side. Your shoulders touch, but not too much. You're off on a ride. It's hard to conceive it. You better believe it. That this could be your very last chance. Get out on the floor for the kissing day. My name is William Sutherland, and I am the musical director for Croker. The style of music for this show is difficult to talk about because there's not one. Um, every single song has a very specific um, style within itself, and none of them are the same. Uh, there's a tango. There's a ballad. There is a sort of typical uh, Broadway dance number. There is a big pop opening number. Um, it's amazing almost that the show is as homogenous as it is and that works so well together since n none of the songs are the same. They're all very, very different. I think the audience is actually going to enjoy that a lot because um, they'll get a little of everything from it. It's been such a great experience for not just me, but for the kids working on something that's brand new because they really get a chance to see in a lot of ways what actually happens in a real production, a real professional production, where it is brand, I mean, you know, most professional productions, um, it is something that's brand new. And so they get the chance to see, well, sometimes we need to stop and, and figure something out. Sometimes the director and the music director need to stop and make a choice. Um, not a choice like, you know, where are people are going to move, but like, do we need to change the show slightly? Do we need to make some changes? And the kids can actually see that process in action uh, and hopefully they're learning uh, a lot about how that works uh, as well. My name is Jane Geiger and I play the Evil Queen. It's really really cool because we're the first people ever to play these roles and we can kind of make the songs kind of how we want to and there's nothing really holding us back from making the characters who we think they are and what they would do and how they would say the lines that we are performing which is really cool. My name is Deb Clinton and I have had the pleasure of co-authoring the book and writing the lyrics with my good friend Jason Marks. The creating of the material was a lot of fun. It came out of a lot of sitting around a table and laughing and enjoyment and it was kind of painless actually and I think because Jason and I have taught for Spark for so long that we had a real good idea, a real good sense of what would work for the kids that are involved in this show, so it's kind of been smooth so far. The kids really love it. That's very gratifying, you know, kind of you've hit your mark with something you've written if they engage with it and it, they think it's funny and they sing it and it, that means I think that it's successful. I think the story is universal. I think we all identify with someone who doesn't feel right in their own skin. 
and someone who isn't where they want to be and that struggle for kind of figuring out where you fit in. I think it's funny and I think it's there's enough for kids and yet I think I think it's a little sophisticated so um, and that's kind of I think a trend in children's theater anyway and children's material um, to have it kind of exist on two levels where a parent can enjoy it with and alongside of their child. I'm happy to have had the opportunity to create something with with a friend. I think um, I think we're sort of like-minded souls, and I think maybe that's why it's good material because we kind of had a really good time doing it. I think Croker is a great show to bring your family to because it has that message that we want our kids to learn that it's okay to be who they are and probably the most important lesson they can learn in life is to feel comfortable in their own skin, to be confident, to be exactly who they are. And of course it's told through hilariously funny and entertaining song and dance, but you definitely get that message loud and clear at the end of the show. So I would definitely bring my kids to see Croker. I think everyone should come. I mean, it's a great show. The storyline is one many people probably have read in their childhood. And the moral is really great. I mean, you can be whatever you want to be. I think everyone should come to Croker because it's so, it's just so cool and it's really inspirational. I mean, it's such a good message at the end. And we, and we just had a lot of fun putting it together, so I hope you all can come. Okay, you're done. <laughs> 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 <laughs>